member on the House uh, Foreign Affairs Committee, and I'm also very short. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, so pleased to, uh, to join my, uh, my colleagues and all of you uh, in this uh, very important uh, show of support for Chinese democracy and human rights advocate Dr. Liu for his uh, reception of this year's uh, Nobel Peace Prize. It is China's shame that Dr. Liu will remain locked in a dark prison cell and his spouse will be kept under house arrest during Friday's award ceremony. This is only one of the few cases, as you've heard, to, of countries that have treated a Nobel Peace Prize winner in such a shabby, disdainful manner. Beijing now joins the ranks of the infamous Nazi regime and the repressive uh, Burmese junta in locking up a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Rulers of Beijing, have you no shame? What is it that you have to fear from this man of peace that you must lock him away for 11 years? For today, Dr. Liu's words calling for democratic reform in China are echoing from Oslo, Norway, all the way to Tiananmen Square in Beijing. Why does a simple piece of paper, the Charter 08, issued on the 16th uh, anniversary, <clears throat> the 16th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, cause Beijing rulers such terror? 60th. It is, is it because of the opening of the Charter states that, and I quote, after experiencing a prolonged period of human rights disasters and a torturous struggle and resistance, the awakening Chinese citizens are increasingly and more clearly recognizing that freedom, equality, and human rights are universal common values shared by all humankind. And the Charter adds, quote, that democracy, a republic, and constitutional, constitutionalism constitute the basic structural framework of modern governance, end quote. Do the cynical leaders of Beijing see in these words the beginning of the end for their warped political system of communism, cronyism, coercion, and corruption? Is this why they fear so much this gentle, scholarly man who returned from the safety of the United States to rescue students from the butchery of Tiananmen Square on that infamous date of June 4th, 1989? Rulers of Beijing, let Dr. Liu and his wife go at once. Release his followers and other signers of the Charter 08 begin at once to implement the democratic and human rights reforms contained in the Charter. And finally, after more than two decades, give recognition and honor to the martyrs of Tiananmen Square and offer apologies to their families. Only then can China truly fulfill its destiny and honor its long traditions. Beijing's rulers should come to recognize that the Nobel Committee, in granting Dr. Liu the Peace Prize, has declared him before the world as China's own man for all seasons. This is the nature of the man we honor today and who will become the world's newest Nobel Peace Prize winner on Friday. Thank you very much.